I'm here with Peter from Banks Performance. How you doing? And I'm in front of a really cool twin turbo, a twin turbo 350, is that correct? That's correct, small block GM. Uh, with this twin turbo system, we can get anywhere from about 600 horsepower on you know standard octane fuel uh, with, uh, with about eight or nine pounds of boost. Um, and with this system, if when you start adding intercooling, uh, more boost, and uh, more octane, you can get up to close to 1,100 horsepower. So this is a pretty versatile package uh, for, the, for the small block Chevy. And this is this is more traditional. Uh, what's the application for this generally? Going to be truck? Yeah, pretty much. This package can actually fit under the hood of uh, some of the older GM iron that uses a small block Chevy, up to probably about mid 80s uh, in the pickup trucks. Um, but right now, it's probably getting primarily used in custom custom hot rod applications. Uh, give us a little more detail on, you guys do a lot of work with diesel performance. Absolutely. Yeah, diesel is a big part of our market right now. We uh, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge diesel pickup trucks. We've got products that'll, that'll add up to about 150 horsepower to those engines. Um, we're, uh, so, so people who are towing, people who are racing their diesels, you know, we're seeing a lot of that kind of stuff these days. Um, we've got products that'll handle, uh, handle all of that. Um, and then we get into some more extreme stuff too. We're doing a lot of racing applications with diesels these days. We've got a diesel drag race pickup truck. I noticed on the bill, maybe on the on over here, you can give us a little more detail on. You've got a, a diesel diesel race car now. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a diesel drag racer, and um, basically we want what we're our focus is to be the first uh, diesel pickup truck in the sevens. So um, this wow. truck, you can actually get some video of it. It's over at the Nitrous Express booth here. Okay. And um, so so. This is a very ambitious project. Now, we're using a Duramax platform. Uh, we're actually using the same Duramax platform in a road race pickup truck also. And uh, that's been going out and, uh, and running pretty quick. We hope to be uh, winning some long endurance events with that uh, within the next couple of months. Um, Audi's done very well in road racing with diesel lately. And uh, we want to be in, in getting the, the American Iron pickup truck recognized in that same genre. So that's kind of the focus of the road race truck. And we're doing some off-road stuff, too. We're doing some stuff with uh, Donahoe Racing Ford Super Duty. Um, uh, Gail actually drove that truck in the Baja 1000 last year. And uh, that truck probably has more power than the suspension is actually capable of using. So um, that, that's been a fun project. So, so why, the, why diesel? Is it just because you want to see if it's, I mean, to be the first one to do it? Or are there some advantages in terms of racing fuel economy, reliability in racing? Absolutely. Diesel has, has some very unique advantages, and fuel economy is one of them. When we're dealing with road race conditions and we're dealing with off-road conditions, fuel economy is a big part of that. Durability is another big aspect of it. Um, uh, we, can, uh, we can get more durability out of a diesel engine at, at similar horsepower levels than we can out of a ga gas lower, Because of lower RPM? Lower RPM, uh, heavier, more robust components. Um, but really what, what we're interested in is, is seeing diesel grow in the United States. We want to see the interest in diesel grow. We want to see um, the capabilities of diesel recognized. Diesel as a performance option is is an is an excellent opportunity and, and a lot right now a lot of uh, the automakers aren't aren't focusing on that and we're but we know we're going to see more of that coming in well, yeah, direct injection diesel you're beginning to see that I yep. mean you're beginning to see a bit of a buildup and especially now that it's the uh, people used to assume it was sounded like you know someone was rattling a bunch of bolts in a can and there's a lot, lot less that's a lot more efficient diesel has changed dramatically we don't have they're not as noisy as they used to be they are not as smelly as they used to be, and they're getting a lot cleaner. You know, diesel has somewhat of a negative heritage just from the black smoke, and one of our goals is in any of our race vehicles that you see, you won't see black smoke behind them. We've, dis we've tuned these and we've Unless designed... tire smoke. Well, that's going to be white smoke. But, uh, you know, we're literally, you know, part of what we need to do as we, as we enhance the image of diesel right. is to make sure that it's a clean image. And, and diesel can be a, uh, it can be a, a, a um, recognized as, a, as an um, environment and friendly fuel. Uh, and, and so that's really what part of, another part of what we want to do. You know, diesel is, um, is actually cleaner burning than gasoline when you, when you treat it properly. Right. And not only that, but a diesel engine can run on, on bio sources. We can run it on vegetable oil and other sources like that. So um, diesel actually has a lot of potential for improving the environment as so well. So if I can go to McDonald's, get all their old cooking oil, and make 1,200 horsepower, I'll take two of them. There are guys <laughs> doing that. Um, yeah, there, there are, there are um, some, some guys that are kind of focusing on that. Um, we can we can produce it from soybeans, which right. you know our nation has a lot of opportunity to, to actually grow the fuel here. So, um, so we'll see a lot. I, I think we'll see a lot more of that in the future too. Excellent. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. It was a really a lot of fun. Thanks. Look forward to seeing it. Take